Hey folks, it's Ross here from the team at Filtered, and today we are going to talk about two brand new features coming to the platform all in good time in Search Plus and Curate Plus. So let's crack on talking about Search Plus. So both of these features are a product of our proprietary algorithm being connected in with ChatGPT, which I think most of the world knows about now, from OpenAI. And the reason why we've done this is to help simplify a lot of processes for LND teams, but also to maximize what you got from your work as well. So this whole kind of principle of doing less and kind of getting more, and you'll see this as we go through here. So what you're seeing on our screen is Search Plus, and Search Plus is, as it says on the tin, it's our AI companion that is going to help us search and discover the best content in our library. And the reason why this is really important is because if you look at most of of our searches within LXP and LMSs, they're pretty much like the dummies guide to searching. And the reason why that is, is because you have to use very broad terms of searching to get content there. So an example of that would be, if I say to our tool here, I want to find stuff on leadership. And this is, like I say, very similar to what we would do with our learning tools. It will go away, it will look all of our content libraries, and it will search for those leadership assets within those libraries. And then once it's returned that, and you can see it's done that here, we'll have all those assets. The magic of this tool here is that it wants to help us refine those results. And this is where your LXP and NMS will not do that. And what it's asking here is, you know, how can we be more specific in this? And it's a good question. And what I want to do in terms of being more specific is looking at emotional intelligence in leadership. So I'll say, you know, tell me more about emotional intelligence in leadership. And then our companion will go away and it will take that input. And then you'll see in a few moments time, it'll come back and it'll have an updated list that specifically focuses on emotional intelligence in leadership. So we are filtering down to the precise content we need. Beautiful. And if we need to, we can even go down further than that. So you can see here, our companion has given us even more suggestions to get to the kind of root cause of what we want to do. So you can continue to have that conversation to be more precise, or what we'll do is use the features on the left, right hand side here, even not my left hand side, the right hand side with all of our content to refine this even more. So what we could do is use these filters here that our customers know and love at the moment as part of our feature set. And we can do a number of things that you can see in your screen here. But what I'm going to do specifically is look at format. So I'm going to say, I would like to just have this as a course or a book, and then that will filter down to just those formats. And I'm also going to say, I don't want to do anything that's more than 20 minutes because we're all very busy. Now, what you can see here is that we filtered down a bunch of results now to less than a page, and we can pick out the precise ones that are going to work for us. So I can click on communicated emotional intelligence module here, and that will take me to that module, which is fantastic. So look, in a nutshell, that is Search Plus. It's taking the next level of getting to the specific content that you need within your content libraries. Our second new feature in Curation Plus or Curate Plus for short. So again, this works as a companion to basically do what it says in the tin, help you to curate a best playlist possible for what you need to give your learners. And the great benefits of this is that one, it allows you to have a curation brief built together for you. So your companion will actually create the structure of your playlist, which we'll see in a few moments time. And it also allows you to get closer to the subject matter expertise that we quite often miss out on in LND teams and are not able to get that internally. So our companion will help you do that here. So what we're going to do is talk to our companion now and go through the process of what we should create today. So what I want to do is leadership resources for first time managers. So I'll plug in that prompt to the companion and it'll go through and start to think about what we can do with that. And this is where we start to build out that structure of our playlist here. Okay, great. So the companions come back and said, what's going to ask a question? So do we want to cover the whole topic of leadership for first time managers or focus on specific areas? So what I'm going to say is let's focus on the whole topic. And what I also want to do here is give a name for the playlist already. So I'm going to say name list as new managers 101. So we'll put in this input here. And what will happen now is our companion is going to go away, take that information we've given it, and build out a structure for our pathway for new managers, and also call this new managers 101. So this will take about 30 seconds for it to run through. And then what I'll do is break down the kind of different elements that you see and how you can refine these even further. And then how you can then import all of this into your LXP or LMS, or even copy it to the clipboard to share in those communications or Microsoft Teams and Slack. So amazing. So we can see all of this come together here. So the companions create our playlist brief. We can see new managers 101. It's given a title for each stage of the pathway. And it's also given us 
a overview as well, which is fantastic because this has given us context to the content for the learner to understand, you know, if they're looking at stepping into leadership, what is this all about? And that is the context that we have got there for them. So we're like, okay, this is great. So and we can actually modify the titles and descriptions as well, or even reorder the modules if needed. So you can do all of this here. So if you're not happy with any of these titles or any of these descriptions, you could just speak to the companion and say, right, can you replace this on number five under practical applications with this instead? And it will do that. So for those of you who are chat GPT users, this will be very familiar, but I'm just going to go ahead and click use this. And then great, this is all on my screen here on the right hand side. So I've got this component here around looking at taking on the whole topic, the playlist as um, new managers 101. And I've got all my components here. So what I'm able to do really easily is go through each part of my pathway and I can just add assets. And what's even better is I've got all the great features that customers are filled to know about in terms of refining the content even further. So if I just wanted to say that I just wanted to have a article or a course in my search results, I can do that. If I didn't want to look at length and say, it must be less than or equals of 30 minutes. I can do that as well. And then what I've done there quite quickly is refined my results down to the top five here, which is fantastic. So if I'm here, I can just pick a couple of these, add them to my playlist <clears throat> or add them to this portion of my playlist. And it's looking good. So it's looking good already. And you can go through that process for each part here. And like I say, you can change any of these titles and descriptions over on the left hand side, but I'm just going to go ahead and create this playlist. I'm also going to very quickly change the title up top here in the filter platform to new managers 101. And then once we've done that, there's a couple of things. So I mentioned you can download this to CSV. So you can put this um, directly into LXP or LMS, or you can copy this to your clipboard and then you can put that into Microsoft Teams, or you can put that into Slack as you would usually do when you copy something to the clipboard. So I hope that's been helpful. Please do try this out if you get a chance to at any of our upcoming events and let us know your feedback.